Welcome back everyone to another episode on Beer, Bourbon, and Games. I am your host, Chris, and today we have a collaboration beer, one that I am very excited to tell you guys about, and that is the second collaboration between the convenience store Sheets out of Altoona and Evil Genius this time out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And the one we have in store for you is Brewberry Muffins. Now the first one was a coffee hop IPA and that was uh, from Rusty Rail. This one this time is from Evil Genius Brewing and they're known for making some really awesome brews. I really like hashtag adulting, Han Shot First. They make a lot of really cool unique names like New Phone Who Dis and Sheets is known for making really awesome coffee. They have good uh, made to order food. There's a ton to like about Sheets and because their rival from Pennsylvania Wawa decided to start making beer, Sheets has kind of gotten into that game as well and now with the second entry I can say that this one should hopefully be very very good we've got a couple of things here this is a blueberry blonde ale so a very unique take right off the bat you don't hear too many blueberry beers to begin with a lot of times when you do it's like a milkshake IPA very easy to mask this time we're going to get a blonde ale this is a one pint 6% alcohol and it is 17 IBU so you can see from the can here that it is a very awesome set of artwork I do not know who designed these but whoever it is is definitely killing it now it says that it is brewed with actual sheets blueberry muffins which is really really cool I believe if I read into this a little bit evil genius decided to use those blueberry muffins as a fermentable sugar to help break down so the yeast can eat it, give it some more sweetness, and then also obviously give the awesome blueberry muffin uh, flavor that you can come to expect from Sheets itself. So before I get into the review, I want to say thank you to Sheets. I did tweet to you guys saying that I was going to be doing this review, and they hooked me up with an awesome shirt and a very awesome official Brewberry Muffins pint glass. Now I will say they did not pay me at all for this review. I'm not getting any money at all, but if they ever want me to do more reviews, I am more than happy to do them. I appreciate the gestures, but this is not going to sway my review at all. So what we are going to do is we're going to pour this into the glass and we're going to see what we get out of this. Very, very rich effervescent aroma right off the bat. I can smell the blueberries from here. Not even joking. I have not even gone in for a whiff yet. And I can already smell it. We have a very, very healthy carbonation rising from the bottom. Very nice uh, small to medium bubbles and a pretty nice white frothy white head going to the top, which is dissipating. We've got a nice yellow color, almost looks like a, a cider in color, but very typical blonde ale look. So nothing, nothing fancy to write home about, but a very nice amount of carbonation and a nice white frothy head. But let's go ahead and get into the aroma. Okay, you can smell the hops in here. There's definitely a light hop character, but it's only 18 IBU, so no bitterness smell in there. But we do have a huge aroma of blueberry hitting you right on the nose. The blueberry, you can definitely tell, was in this beer. It is very, very strong, very prevalent on the nose. Besides that blueberry, I'm not getting anything else, but I wasn't really expecting to. Light hop character, very rich in blueberry smell, and that's about what we're here to expect. Nothing fancy, we shouldn't get many other notes because honestly, it's kind of a one trick pony, it's a blueberry beer. But it smells 
absolutely fantastic. If you love the smell of blueberry, you will love this. I would say, honestly, please make a candle out of this. I say it a lot about certain beers that smell really good, and this smells really, really good. So overall, aroma, you passed. I think it smells absolutely fantastic. But now we're going to get into the most important part. Is this a good beer? Can I recommend it to you at home? Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Right off the bat, the blueberry hits you right up front. Light hop characteristic. It does taste like a blonde ale. However, the blueberry hits you immediately. It is a strong blueberry taste on the forefront and it is lingering on the mouth right now. I still have it in here, so it's definitely a medium to a long mouthfeel. We've got a very good blueberry note characteristic. There's no bitterness, there's no harsh flavors. It is an amazing blueberry beer. It is exactly what it said it was. It is absolutely fantastic. It's crisp, it's refreshing. This would be amazing on a hot summer day. Now I know we're getting into fall. We're into fall, the weather is dropping, the hotness is going down, but I could drink this all year round, honestly. But on a hot summer day, this is just so clean and refreshing and not harsh at all. Sometimes you just want a good summer shandy, a good summer beer, a cider, something refreshing, and this is doing that for me. The blueberry notes are here. Now, something that I noticed, let me just take another sip, just, you know, for science. Something that I noticed, there is a beautiful sugar characteristic. Have you ever had a muffin? And you know how they have that thick, like, I don't even know the, the crystallized sugar on the top, like those thick, hard kind of pieces of sugar that are there. I can taste that in this beer. Those notes of that sugar are broken down and sitting in here. Like the complexities are kind of floating all around. So this literally tastes like someone took one of Sheets muffins, melted it down or made a smoothie and just I'm drinking it. So evil genius, I must say that you absolutely knocked this one out of the park. Sheets, absolutely amazing beer. Kudos to both of you. Hopefully, there is another collab in the works because if there is I hope you and Evil Genius do it again this beer is absolutely fantastic you killed it now like always we are going to rate this on the untapped scale you can find me as beer bourbon and games on there all my links and all my social media are always down in the description go ahead and follow me if you'd like to see what I'm drinking where I am and all of that jazz so Let's go ahead and rate this. This is going to be a four out of five. It is an absolutely amazing beer. Not much more they could do to elevate this. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, four out of five is a very, very good score. And I think overall, I love it. I wish I could find more of it. Sheets, my one suggestion to you is please release your beers in larger quantities. Now I'm assuming this is kind of just a test. See how people react to them. I tried to buy more of this beer when I found out that it was good from other people. And that same day that it released, it was already sold out at all five sheets that were around me that carried this. So you didn't get a lot in or you didn't ship a lot. It's one way or another. Hopefully you'll release more in the future, but that is my review guys. Four out of five is a great score. If you somehow can find this still, please go out and buy it. So everyone out there, please go and visit Evil Genius if you're close. Support his sheets if you're close to one as well. Lastly guys, remember if you want to ever support the channel, you can go ahead and head over to the Patreon account. You can always support the channel anyway. You can donate, you can become a member anything at all the link is in the description also if you're new to the channel think about hitting that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button as well and leave a comment down below everything helps me out but remember guys this beer's not going to drink itself we're going to have to help it
God, I love muffins.